We're excited to introduce Elemental and Elemental Pro 3.10. Brace yourselves because these versions are packed with new, exciting features that will unlock a world of new design possibilities. Let's dive in. The first update we'll introduce is the new nested elements capability. It leverages the power of containers to enable an entirely new way to use Elemental widgets by placing any element inside another. Wow, this is incredible. Hey, where did you go? I'm over here in this tab. As you can guess, the first widget being turned into a nestable widget is the tabs widget, which is getting a complete overall with three major improvements. First, you can now enjoy a lot more design possibilities for your tab titles, including the ability to add icons to them. Second, you'll be able to drag in any element into the content area of each tab and position them however you want. You can even animate them. Third, to improve the user experience for visitors on smaller device sizes, now you can choose if you want to turn your tabs into an accordion from a certain breakpoint. Not bad, eh? Next up, we have the new custom unit option in the revamped unit selection dropdown. This custom option enables you to set any unit you want, including CSS math functions. This is great for when you want to use more than one unit at once. For example, you want to use the pixel unit for padding or margins at the top and bottom of an element, but percentages for its sides. Or use it with the CSS function to calculate the value of a unit. For example, when choosing the custom option in the typography size controls, you'll be able to use the clamp CSS function to adjust your typography size to different device sizes. As part of this version, the custom unit option has been added everywhere possible in containers, sections and columns. For typography controls, they've been added to line height, letter and word spacing, and will be added to additional areas in future releases. It may be time to brush up on your CSS math functions. As we continue to bring new innovation, leveraging Flexbox containers, it's time to introduce Elemental's new kit and template library for our container users. Now, when you enable Flexbox containers on your website, you will see that all of the most popular kits have been converted to containers. And you have brand new ones too. We are also working to add a dedicated global styles page to every kit, where you can view your website's design system and will reflect any changes you make to your global styles. In other news, for Elemental Pro users, the countdown widget now has a dynamic tag field in the due date, so you can manage the countdown time in WordPress. Have a promotion you want to use the countdown widget for to generate FOMO? You can now set the due date in the page as a custom field and populate it in the countdown widget dynamically. Yes, I made it in time to join the class. Elemental 3.10 also adds the ability for you to disable Google fonts from your website. As using Google fonts could be a risk in terms of GDPR, we wanted you to have the ability to turn it off if you choose to. If you are using Elemental Pro, you can always use your locally hosted fonts using the Pro Custom Fonts feature. And finally, as we continue our commitment to improve performance and accessibility, this update includes a number of those. Lazy Load added to Google Maps so it only loads on the page when you need it. And a new ability to determine if you want to preload a video, its metadata, or not preload it at all until the visitor clicks play. And that's 3.10. It's a lot to take in, but try it out and see what more you can do with all these design options. We're especially excited to see what you design with the new tabs widget. So let us know what you think. This is Ziv signing off. Ciao for now.